India relaunched on Tuesday its global hunt for new generation assault rifles after similar attempts over the last decade failed due to unrealistic technical requirements and whiff of corruption interspersed by debates on whether the gun should kill or merely wound adversaries. The project is going to be a mega one, with the army looking to induct 65 000 rifles in the first go, with another one 20,000 to be manufactured in India. This, of course, would be just the beginning for the 12 lakh strong army, with the overall program cost slated to ultimately cross the $1 billion mark. In the RFI request for information issued by the Defense Ministry on Tuesday, it was mentioned that the army was seeking a 7. 62mm by 51mm assault rifle with lethality to achieve the objective of shoot to kill to replace glitch prone 5. 56mm INSAS Indian Small Arms System rifle. The broad parameters specify the lightweight rifles should have an effective range of 500m at the very minimum with duly optimized recoil to achieve accuracy better than 3 minutes of angle up to a minimum range of 500m with multi-option telescopic sights. The rifles should also be capable of being fitted with the 40mm under a barrel grenade launch. Manufactured by Ordnance Factory, Trichy. Compatible with visible laser target pointers, holographic and other sights. The rifles should be state-of-art in terms of design. Metallurgy and performance parameters remain relevant for the next 25 to 30 years. The RFI states the Global Tender or RFP request for proposal for the formal Techni commercial bids will be floated in April 2017. It is bound to attract companies like Colt, US, Beretta, Italy, Six Hour, Europe, Seska, Czech, and Israel Weapon Industries, EWI, which had also participated in the earlier tender. As was first reported by Toy in May last year, the project was scrapped because of the Army's overambitious experiment to induct rifles with interchangeable barrels, with a 5. 56 by 45 mm primary barrel for conventional warfare and a 7. 62 by 39 mm secondary one for counter-terrorism then. The Army Commanders Conference last April had discussed whether the force required a 7. 62 mm rifle that killed, or a 5. 56 mm rifle that incapacitated enemy soldiers. Subsequently, even as the Army rejected the 5. 56 by 45 mm Excalibur rifle offered by the DRDO Ordnance Factory Board combined. The decision was taken to go in for 7. 62 by 51 mm rifles with a higher kill probability. Incidentally, other projects to get new close quarter battle carbines, light machine guns, sniper rifles and the like for infantry battalions are also stuck in the long-winded procurement process.